What is up, solo sportsters? I'm here at our Flushing Queens location, located on the glorious grounds of the US Open, to bring you a review of the Ultra Pro 16x19 V4. This racket is generally not available in retail, so we'll give you the inside scoop of everything you need to know, the specs, how it plays, and whether or not it's right for your game. So stick around and figure out if this is the one for you. The Wilson Ultra Pro is 305 grams, which equates to 10.8 ounces unstrung, with a swing weight of 317, making it 6 points head light, with a balance point of 12.76 inches. It has a 97 square inch head, a length of 27 inches, and, and as the name suggests, an open 16 by 19 string pattern, a constant flat beam of 20.6 millimeters. The stock grip is the Wilson Pro Performance and has a dazzlingly glossy and color-shifting blue cosmetic. The Ultra Pro is the heaviest and has the smallest head size alongside its brother, the Ultra Pro 1820. We decided to string this racket with Luxlon Alu Power 125 Ocean Blue, as it perfectly matches the racket on a, both a cosmetic level and in terms of its performance. Luxlon Alu Power is one of the, if not the most widely used polyester strings on tour, as the aluminum in the string both enhances the playability thanks to its unique poly ether ether composition, which exceeds all quality standards for near zero string variants. Other than just the basic specs, there's some very unique things that make the Ultra Pro so different from any other Ultra in the lineup. First of all, it's got a glossy paint to it, so it's very smooth to the touch. So it's not just the iridescent that you see on the normal Ultras. Uh, this one is a very glossy finish, so it's very smooth in your hands, easy to adjust up and down the throat. And yes, the specs are very unique in that it's a 97 whereas all the other Ultras are either 100 square inches or larger. It's a thin beam, as opposed to the chunky frame that you expect from most of the other Ultras. Additionally, it has a relatively low RA, so it's pretty comfortable and pretty flexible for a more power-focused racket. Um, and also you'll notice the throat is a much more elongated throat. Uh, so this is a very unique racket and an absolute joy to take on court. Now this racket sits at the upper end of my preferred spec range, but I absolutely love this 97 square inch head size. It gives you great feel, great precision. So I felt like from the baseline, I was able to knife balls around. I was able to dial in and really hit in what I would describe as like a three by three to a six by six box. I felt really great control, but because it's an ultra, I still got a lot of great pop out of it. So I didn't feel like I had to over hit. I could dial it back when I needed to. When I wanted to step into the court, I didn't have to worry about the ball flying on me. Any of the pro rackets that you see from Wilson, whether it's a Blade Pro, an Ultra Pro, these are all rackets that are generally designed with professional players in mind. A lot of professional players will use this as a base and then customize to their needs by either adding sublet tape, uh, silicone in the handle, all sorts of fun things that pros love to do. But this racket, I have to agree, is a fantastic base for any really top tier player 
who maybe wants something like this with a little more mass to it. Because it comes in at that 305 gram unstrung weight, it's very easy to build up as needed, but it really isn't great for the beginner or maybe even intermediate club level player uh, because it doesn't leave room to uh, make it a little more accommodating. It only heads in the other direction. Similar to my comments from the baseline, this racket gave me the ultimate power and control mixture that every player dreams of. I felt that I could drive volleys deep without putting in too much effort, but I also felt that I could put the ball on a dime. I wasn't worried about the ball spraying. I didn't feel like I had to overfocus. It was an absolute dream up at net. I think mostly because of that thinner beam, that smaller head size and that flush 62 RA. It made it an absolute dream whether I wanted to absolutely crush volleys deep and push my opponent back or go for those dainty little drop shots that make my opponent scream. This racket scored highly in our solo sports review. As a power focused racket coupled with some attributes designed to provide control, this racket really has a great mixture for someone who has an all court game. The ideal player for this racket has an NTRP rating of 4.0 or higher, can generate their own pace, but also enjoys playing a more tactical maneuvering and redirecting game. Whether you have play a one-hander like me or a two-hander like most ultra players, this racket will work well for you. Similar rackets include the Battle at Pure Drive 98, the Yonex E-Zone 98, the Dunlop FX500 Tour, and the Head Boom Pro. I highly recommend you give this racket a try the next time you're looking to upgrade your equipment and really look like a, shall I say, pro out there. We hope you've enjoyed our review of the Wilson Ultra Pro 16x19 V4. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. We'd love to read them and answer them for you. This racket was actually requested by one of our commenters. So if you, there are rackets that you're interested in, let us know so we can film a review. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.